Welcome to our instructional series on the SV Spectrum Central Venus Catheter Triple Lumen Kit. In this video, we'll explore the kit's packaging and contents, focusing on features that distinguish it from other products in the market. We feature the 7 French kit in this video. Note: Contents of kits vary depending on catheter size. The kit is supplied in a sterile peel-open package to ensure product integrity and facilitate easy identification. The packaging is clearly labeled to denote key features, including antimicrobial impregnation with minocycline and rifampin, also with power injectable compatibility. The kit includes the following CDC recommended components designed to facilitate catheter insertion. A triple lumen catheter impregnated with minocycline and rifampin help reduce catheter related bloodstream infections. BD Chloroprep One Step Applicator, a 7 cm and a 5 cm 18 gauge introducer needle with echo tip, and a 7 cm 18 gauge catheter over needle introducer, commonly known as an angio cath. Safe TJ Wire Guide, a PTFE coated stainless steel wire guide featuring a curved J tip and integrated straightener to facilitate smooth insertion. A 1% lidocaine HCL ampule with filter straw and lidocaine label. A foam and a locking sharps container. 8.5 French vessel dilator. 11 blade safety scalpel. Pre-filled 10 milliliter saline flush syringes. Lure lock injection caps with neutral displacement. Transducing tubing for pressure monitoring. Braided silk suture kit. Includes a curved needle and needle driver for catheter stabilization. Full body fenestrated drape with tearaway feature for sterile field maintenance. Cap, gown, and mask with eye shield to ensure procedural sterility. Procedural checklist. And a sterile procedure stop sign door hanger. With its comprehensive components and unique features, the SV Triple Lumen CVC kit is designed to enhance patient safety and procedural efficiency. Before initiating catheter insertion, the insertion site must be thoroughly disinfected and maintained within a sterile field. The SV Spectrum Triple Lumen CVC kit includes a BD Chlora Prep applicator to facilitate skin antisepsis. To apply, activate the applicator by pressing and breaking the internal ampule. Gently squeeze the applicator to release the solution onto the sponge tip. Apply the antiseptic solution to the insertion site using a back and forth motion for 30 seconds. Allow the area to air dry completely. Do not blot or wipe. Once the site is adequately disinfected and dry, proceed to apply the full body fenestrated drape to establish a sterile field. Using visual indicators, Unfold the full body drape carefully, ensuring the sterile side faces the patient. Align the fenestration over the insertion site and smooth the drape outward from the center to eliminate wrinkles and secure adherence. With the skin properly disinfected and the sterile field established, you're now ready to proceed. To ensure patient comfort during CVC insertion, local anesthesia is administered using lidocaine. Our kit components include a 25 gauge and 22 gauge monojet needle, a 1% lidocaine ampule, filter straw, snapback syringe, and a lidocaine label. Begin by attaching the filter straw to the snapback syringe. Open the ampule using included gauze, then draw up the appropriate volume of lidocaine, about 5 milliliters. Once filled, remove the filter straw and replace it with either a 25 gauge or 22 gauge monojet needle. Label the syringe clearly with the provided lidocaine sticker to ensure accurate identification. Using a slow steady technique, administer lidocaine to the intended insertion site. Always monitor patient comfort and tissue response. Immediately after use, Dispose of the needle safely in the red sharps container provided in the tray. With the sterile field established, we now proceed with catheter preparation. Begin by identifying the French size and length of the catheter, both of which are clearly marked on the catheter hub. 
The MR marking on the catheter hub signifies that the catheter is impregnated with minocycline and rifampin. These antimicrobial agents are embedded throughout the entire catheter body to help reduce the risk of catheter-related bloodstream infections. The distal lumen hub of the catheter is labeled with CT to indicate it is compatible with power injection. Additionally, the transparent tubing just below each hub displays the recommended flushing volumes. Prior to insertion, it's crucial to prepare each lumen to ensure functionality and patient safety. Remove the lure lock-in caps from each lumen. Attach needleless injection caps, leaving the distal extension uncapped for wire guide passage. Flush each lumen using the provided pre-filled 10 milliliter saline syringes to activate hydrophilic coating and to confirm patency. The kit includes three introducer options to suit different vein sizes and user preferences. Two echo tip needles, 18 gauge, 7 centimeters, and 5 centimeters, and one 18 gauge, 7 centimeter catheter over needle, an angio cath. Using ultrasound guidance, introduce the thin wall percutaneous entry needle into the selected vessel. Aspirate gently to confirm venous blood return. This confirms proper needle tip positioning inside the vessel. Next, take the safe TJ wire guide and slide the included straightener over the J tip. Advance the straightened wire guide through the needle, gently feeding 5 to 10 centimeters into the vessel. The wire guide features 10 centimeter length markings along its shaft, providing clinicians with precise depth measurement during catheter placement. Never force the wire, and avoid pulling the wire back through the needle, as this may cause damage or breakage. Once the wire guide is properly positioned, maintain wire control while carefully withdrawing the access needle. Dispose of needle properly using a red sharps container. Included in the kit are a dilator and an 11 blade safety scalpel. If needed, use the 11 blade safety scalpel to enlarge the insertion site. If tissue dilation is required, advance the dilator over the wire. Important, to avoid vascular injury, never apply excessive force. Remove the dilator prior to catheter advancement. With the wire guide in place, advance the catheter over the wire guide using a gentle controlled twisting motion. Ensure the catheter does not extend beyond the distal tip of the wire guide. Once the catheter has been fully inserted, begin the post-insertion and securement steps. Carefully remove the wire guide while maintaining catheter position. Note, if the catheter has a stiffening stylet, the stylet must be removed at this time. Flushing the catheter lumens with sterile saline is vital to maintain patency and prevent clot formation. Use a 10 milliliter syringe to flush each lumen with 10 milliliters of normal saline. After flushing, clamp the lumen to maintain positive pressure and prevent blood reflux. In addition to the integrated suture wings, a movable suture wing is included to accommodate ideal securement if needed. Secure the catheter using the braided black silk suture with curved needle and needle driver. Next, apply the sterile dressing over the site ensuring a firm seal that allows visibility and breathability. The full body fenestrated drape has a tear away feature to allow for easy removal. Document the procedure in the patient's medical record, including catheter specifications, lot number, imaging confirmation, and lumen functionality. Thank you for joining us in this comprehensive overview of the SV Spectrum Central Venous Catheter Triple Lumen Kit. We've explored its innovative features, including the antimicrobial impregnation of minocycline and rifampin designed to reduce catheter-related bloodstream infections. For more detailed information, product specifications, and educational resources, please visit spectrumvascular.com. Here, you'll find a wealth of materials to support your clinical practice and enhance patient care.